We know through social media channels that you've really been missing our in-flight and in-lounge food, our signature dishes. And this is a classic first-class cheeseburger. It's really simple and it's all about great beef. So go to your butcher, get some grass-fed beef, ask them to mince chuck and brisket or just chuck or a combination of whatever you, you think is best, your favourite. As long as it's beautiful grass-fed beef, about 20% fat is really important and it's pure beef. So here we have got the patties. Now what we're going to do is a little bit of oil because I'm going to squish them down a bit. We don't want too much oil, it's going to smoke everything out and burn. And then, really important seasoning. The difference between a chef uh, and a home cook is the amount of seasoning. We want that beautiful crust there that's just going to get nice and caramelised. So. That's ready, the seasoning's just going in, and what we're gonna make is our cheeseburger sauce. So, nice little bowl. We've got aioli mayonnaise, and this combination of flavors just makes the most delicious sauce, uh, along with, again, the Heinz ketchup that we put on the burger as well. I suggest Heinz because it really does have an amazing acidity, and without that acidity, you just don't get the flavor that, that we want. A little tiny bit of cider vinegar, which just lifts it. In there with the Heinz tomato sauce. A little tiny bit of onion powder. Big boost of flavour. Smoked paprika for some smokiness. And then in with mustard. Then we're just going to mix this all together and make a beautiful rose mayonnaise. Okay, so I'm going to put a little finger in there. Mmm, that is tasting really good. Quick hand wash. And now we're ready to start cooking the meat, meat patties. So remember, do not oil the grill. I'm just using one of these little sandwich press grills, which are fantastic. If you really wanted to take your burger next level, light a charcoal fire and cook it over charcoal and you would absolutely be having the best burger in the world. So, straight on. Plenty of space between the patties because what we want to do is crush these patties down a bit and make sure that we can get a nice sort of patty that the bun's going to sit on and we'll have a nice meat to patty ratio. So you can squeeze it down quite a bit because what's going to happen is it's going to shrink up. Squeeze it right down. Squeeze it right down, it'll shrink up. Now, you notice I put the, the salted oil side down first. So that's the kind of side that's going to caramelize and crust up first. And keep squeezing these because they're going to actually get to the point where they shrink up and that's going to be a perfect match for our burger bun. So, no salt on that side, right? So, then I've got to season that and give it a really nice season so that that meat and that crust gets a great flavour. And, and one of the things that's going to be really awesome about that is that I'll get a nice crust on it and when you're eating it with a burger, you get something that's got a great texture to it. So all we're going to do now is about five minutes on each side and these guys will be perfect. So now we're going to turn the burger. And this is the important bit. As soon as we turn, straight on, crisscross piece of cheese, two pieces. If you really want to make it super luxurious, you put another piece like we do at Burger Project on the bottom of the bun, making it a fantastic kind of really over the top cheeseburger. You might even do that just for fun, because you can. At home you can do that. Uh, we'll do that. I'm going to toast the buns and then we'll be ready to put our cheeseburger together. So we're really looking forward to that. Okay, just resting the meat through. Here, uh, the burger bun's just toasted. So I'm going to do that little burger project trick of making it the absolute outrageous cheeseburger. But first, I'm going to do this on the base. 
I'm going to put Heinz. What did I say about that? You've got to have this because you really need that acidity that this sauce has, and it's fantastic. Then we put on the cheese, which is going to make it a super duper cheesy cheeseburger. And then I'm going to put on the lettuce. Sorry, tomato. Why am I saying lettuce? It's tomato. I'm losing my mind. I got mixed up with ginger and garlic the other day. Okay. Lettuce. And here is a really important part. Our beautiful cheeseburger sauce right on top. Got to have plenty of plenty of sauce. Probably easier if you use a spoon, but hey, that's what cooking is about. Kind of being able to use whatever you want to make things work. And you can see just how much more efficient a spoon is, right? So, straight on with our beautiful little burger patty. Why did I do that? Isn't that naughty of me? Straight on with the burger patty. And then just to finish, some onion that I've actually soaked in water for about 30 minutes, takes all the heat out of it and sting, and makes it really delicious. Now, you can put pickles on these burgers, which is really yummy as well. And over we go. Boom. So, there you have fantastic first-class burger.